So what we're going to do with this drawing is we're going to run a design check on it. The design checker is a nice feature in SOLIDWORKS built in to standardize all drawings. So um, whether it's the correct standard ISO or, or ANSI, uh, if all the dimension sizes are the same, if all the font sizes are the same. So if I go to Tools and Design Checker, we can do a check active document, which is the one that we just see, this idler arm drawing. Now, you can see here in the top left -hand corner, we have add standards. Now, the standard that we've already created here is this student standard. Now, this is a list of particular items that we want to check off. It could be, like I mentioned, it could be the, the font style, it could be the font uh, type, uh, it could be font size, it could be the particular standard, ISO or ANSI or anything this year particular key, key items that we want to check on. So it compares it against all those checks when we do a check document and it comes back with anything that's listed incorrectly. So you can see we've got three items here that are currently wrong uh, with uh, our design checks. So the first one here we've got um, the preferred value of units is MMGS but this is currently listed as custom. The nice thing about this, we can automatically do a correct selected, like so, and it will go off and fix that particular problem with the sketch that we were having. Okay. When it comes grayed out, we can do refresh, and we see that's no longer a problem. Now on the second issue that we have, we've got a preferred value, and this is the actual value. So again, it's to do with uh, units, but this time uh, more to do with the uh, significant figures of the value. So we're just going to do a correct select it again and it will go off and edit that so that it now reads with the, the correct number of significant figures. Now it's very useful that we can do the correct selected in both of those but on particular drawing views or anything that's um, view related or graphical uh, this is a bit more uh, in the eye of the beholder if we should say. So we've got two instances here of dimensions which are overlapping which according to our checks is something that we don't want. So you can see here we've got two diameters that are overlapping. Now <clears throat> a way that I would maybe tend to fix that is if I right click on one particular dimension we can change the display option and display one of them as a radius. And once I refresh then you can see it removes that. Now this additional one down here you can see that we've got two overlapping dimensions just in this corner. Sometimes it's unavoidable, so again, it's up to uh, the user then to decide whether that's acceptable or not. Now, this is a very good way to standardize all your drawings, either within a company or to a uh, set of company standards. Uh, so you, once you create your build, uh, your build checks, all you have to do is run your build checks against your drawing, and you can quickly see if your drawing matches up.